So I just came up with the most brilliant idea. Now that I have the Rhino Arc 2, right, that really cool motion control robotic thing that you saw in my last video, I'm going to attempt to build a robotic camera person to help me film. All right, let's get started. Now, the cool thing about the Arc 2 is that you don't necessarily have to have it on the Rhino slider. You can actually use a normal tripod and use the Arc 2 as a fluid head, uh, so to speak. And so that's what we're going to do. All right. Oh man, I need a stronger tripod. Here, I can get a shot of my feet. Uh, okay, I think, I think we're good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna put the camera on the tripod for now because uh, we're gonna get this bad boy. Ooh, wee! Ooh. I'm gonna grab the R2. I'm gonna place a quick release plate underneath it so that I can attach this guy to that tripod. So here we go. Very cool. All right, now we're gonna swap. All right, I'm gonna try to point the camera up so that you can uh, see what I'm doing. <laughs> Gosh, it's, it's so hard to film by yourself. Hold on, there we go. There we go. Okay, so tripod, arc two, quick release plate, boom, love it. Okay, now time to attach the camera onto the arc two. Oh, what am I up to? What am I up to? Oh, you dummy, forgot something. Forgot the phone thing. All right, I forgot the, the phone holder that's supposed to go on top of the camera. So I'm gonna leave my gear there and I'm gonna quickly run to the car. Hopefully nobody will steal my gear. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly. Oh, I should have brought it out. Okay, there's a slider, phone holder. Ah, oh, dummy. Okay, here we go. Okay, nobody's there. Nobody's there. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, nobody's here in this little forest, so we're good. We're good. All right, so now time to attach this camera onto the R2. Okay, I'm gonna take my favorite quick release system, take the 501. Plate on it, I've attached the Manfrotto RC2. And lock it. Nice, time to put it on. Oh, look at that. I love quick release plates. So why am I using my phone? Well, the app that, uh, that controls the Arc 2, that allows you to use the camera on your phone to track the face of your subject and so, if I'm walking and talking, the app will track my face and then tell the Arc 2 to follow that person wherever they go. Okay, so you probably don't see it, but there are uh, six options that you can choose from. Uh, over here, we're going to use Tracker. So there's that little box over there with a dot in the middle. We'll be using that feature because we're going to track my face using the, the camera on the iPhone, which I'm going to attach on top of my camera. So all the tracking is taking place on the iPhone and the app, and it's transmitting that data to the Arc 2 so that it can pan, tilt, do whatever it needs to do to follow the subject. So pretty dang cool. All right, here we go, let's put this on. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to zoom in on the lens. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in all the way. In fact, for the, for the sake of bokehness, we'll be using some brand new filters that I got from Sandmark. It's an ND filter slash circular polarizer. Let's go ahead, raise our ISO to something like, oh, I don't know, 1600. Cool, so that is set. Okay, so in the first video that I made about the Arc 2, uh, I kind of messed up on the auto tracking because while the auto tracking feature worked really well, the framing of my shot, there wasn't enough headroom space uh, for me and so it kind of seemed like the auto tracking didn't work, like it was maybe tracking my chest, when in reality it was actually doing its job and tracking my face. So in order to frame your shot as your camera sees it, you can actually pinch the zoom on your camera to closely mimic the focal length of your lens. So now I'm gonna go behind the camera and try to match the framing of my camera on the phone. Okay, so for those of you that are curious, this is my setup. So here is the Arc 2 on my tripod. That's the MiPhoto travel tripod. And uh, I have the a7 III with a 24 to 70 G master lens. Actually, that's a lie. This is the 16 to 35 G master lens. Okay, I'll have to make those changes in post. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, there is my iPhone, there's the iPhone holder, and I'm using the app right over there. And so if you take a look on the a7 III screen, and here I'll change the focal length. So I'm gonna pull out a little bit wider to that. And if you want to do auto tracking on the Arc 2, you need to match the focal length on the lens as close as you can. So uh, in order to do that, you just pinch the zoom or uh, pinch the zoom out or whatever it is. 
So does that look about right? No, I need to pinch out, I need to zoom out a little bit more. That looks, that looks about right. Uh, because if you don't do that, then uh, your subject's head will be cut off. Well, not literally, that, that's really dark, but you know what I mean, there's not enough headspace. Uh, it, it just won't look properly framed, but pretty cool setup. Look at that, look at that, woo, love it. So now this is footage from the iPhone. As you can see, I can uh, pinch to zoom. Uh, there is the barrel of the lens, but I'm gonna try to emulate the same focal length on my lens. So I'm just gonna zoom in on my phone. So uh, a little bit wider. Oops, too much, too much, too much. I think that looks uh, something like that. If you look to the top right of the corner, there's vlog mode and there's interview mode, whoop. Interview mode is for interviews, obviously, and so it'll slowly move the camera to adjust uh, the composition, just in case the subject of your interview moves. But in this case, we're gonna do vlog mode, and we're going to keep the speed of the tracking too fast. So I'm gonna press start, bottom right corner, and here we go, I'm recording. So as I step into frame, it should follow me. Look at that, now it's following me. So now I can walk and talk, do my thing, as long as it's tracking me, and uh, hopefully everything looks framed up right. I'll have to go check, but look at that. Uh, all right, let's go check out the footage. All right, just checked out the footage and everything turned out perfect. Oh, it was so amazing. Okay, so now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this footage and then I'm going to bring it into After Effects. And in After Effects, I'm going to put expressions on that clip so that I can emulate natural camera shake. Here is the footage without that camera shake. You have the camera following me, looks great. Looks like someone is behind the camera on a tripod, on a fluid head tripod, just following me around. But if I wanted to add that natural camera shake, like someone is holding a camera handheld, this is what it's going to look like. Now I'm walking and talking. The R2 is following me as it should, but now you see natural camera shake. So it almost feels like there's an actual cameraman behind the camera. Cameraman, cameraman behind the camera. I think that makes sense. Okay, so here we have our clip in After Effects, and the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to click on our clip, press P on your keyboard to open up the position, and on your keyboard, you're gonna hold down the Option button. If you have a Windows computer, you're gonna hold down the Alt button, and then you're going to click on the stopwatch, which is right here near the position. That's gonna open up a box where you can type in your expression, and so what we're gonna do is that we're going to type in wiggle, open bracket, four, comma, 60, close bracket, enter. So that is going to be our expression. It's a wiggle expression. So basically, you're just telling After Effects to make this clip wiggle at every four seconds for 60 pixels on the X and Y axes. Basically, it's just a bunch of nerd talk. So anyway, let's go ahead and play the clip with the wiggle expression on. Okay, so obviously that's a bit too much, and so let's just go ahead and change the values. Instead of every four seconds, let's do every two seconds. All right, here we go, let's play it back. Much better, it's a lot smoother. Now obviously you can see on the edges, you can see the black spaces, and that's because the composition is literally moving up and down, left and right. And so in order to combat this, we're going to scale up this clip. So go ahead and click on the clip, press S for scale, and type in 106. That should be good, maybe 107. All right, cool, let's go ahead and play the clip again. And look at that, natural camera shake. Now, yes, obviously you can use a plugin to emulate the same thing, but I like doing it this way because I like controlling the camera shake manually. And also I just like tinkering, so let me tinker. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so now I'm going to increase the focal length of my lens and try to emulate that on the phone. And so we're gonna see if it works on that focal length. So on the 24 to 70 G Master lens, I pushed the lens all the way to 70 millimeters. And on the a7 III, I put it into crop mode or APS-C mode, as well as clear image zoom all the way through. So I don't know what exactly that focal length is, but it's pushed in as much as I, I could push it. So here is the footage of me walking and talking without the camera shake. Walking and talking, walking and talking. Just talking about life, talking about life. And then now I'm going to add the camera shake to this footage. Walking and talking, talking about life, talking about life, looking all natural. Does it look good? Yeah? Uh, oh, also I found out the R2 can't track your face if it doesn't see your face, so 
Right now it's following me because it can see my face, but if I cover my face, it's not following me. But if I do this, ah, oh, you caught me. So cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so that is how you fake a cameraman from a robot. This is so cool. I just, I just literally made a cameraman out of a robot. That is, that is insane. That is so cool. I don't have to hire Tyler anymore. Sorry, Tyler. You're fired. Just kidding. Please still work for me. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to check out the Arc 2, check out the link in the description below. Also, if you want to get 10% off their entire store, use my promo code SydneyD10. And if you want the Arc 2, 10% off. If you want a slider, 10% off. 10% off the entire Rhino Gear store. Pretty sweet offer. Check it out. All right, guys. Well, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Props to my robot camera guy, which I will name Fred. Ah, Fred, you're doing a great job. All right, props to Fred. See you later, bye! Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, I should have brought it out. Okay, there's a slider, phone holder. Ah, oh, you dummy. Okay, nobody's there, nobody's there, nobody's there.